Praise God. This is your prophet, Prophet Great. I'm glad to come your way again. Uh, today, uh, we're looking at the dangers of blood covenant and how to break it. The dangers of blood covenant and how to break it. Praise God. Now, there's something you must understand about blood covenant. Now, there's something you must understand about blood covenant. Blood covenant is not ordinary. Blood covenant, when it's ignited, is not something one must joke with because it affects your three realms of existence. It affects your spirit, your soul, and your body. It affects your marriage. It affects your business. It affects your finance. It affects your, your joy, your happiness, everything about you. Praise God. So blood covenant is terrible. Now, blood covenant is a spiritual exercise. Whenever a man or a woman do blood covenant, now what makes the blood covenant effective, dynamic, and powerful is the spirit that witness the covenant. A woman and a man or a lady and a young man come together and said, I will love you forever. I will not marry any other man except you. I will live with you and stay with you no matter what, all the days of my life. And then, to seal this, this is the covenant. This is the seal. And then this individual cut his hand, give this person the blood to drink, and then the other person blood to drink, and then the covenant is sealed by the blood of I mean, by the blood. And so, uh, what happened is this. A clean spirit comes to witness and to seal the covenant. And that is why after the covenant, when there's a breakage, when there's a violation, you realize that there is always a, uh, a danger. There's always a consequence. Now, it's not for the two. Is because of the spirit that witness or that stand in between the two as a magnetic force in order to make the covenant effective. Praise God. And so, and that's why you realize that whenever the covenant is broken, once you decide to break the covenant and go away, you realize that the other person can't be himself can't be himself. The other one also can't be himself. It affect the their new relationship. It affect their new marital status. It affect their businesses. It affect their emotions. It affect everything because life is in the blood. So when the individual said, I give you my blood, he's giving you his life. The other person also said, I give my blood, I give you my life. So you realize that you, you can't do without each other, no matter what. I dealt with these kind of issues over and over again, and that people's experience is never a palatable one. So the question is, how can I come out of the blood covenant? Number one way to come out of the blood covenant is for you to ask for forgiveness. Number two, Ask for forgiveness, ask God to forgive you because that is a devilish act. And then when you are forgiven, number two is for you to renounce the covenant. Call the name of that individual. Call the name of that individual and say, for instance, you made a covenant with Agnes. Agnes, today, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I renounce the blood covenant I made with you. I break that covenant. I renounce it. Agnes, from this day, by the blood of Jesus, I am free from the blood covenant I made with you. Agnes, this day, my spirit separate from your spirit. I am free by the blood of Jesus. Agnes, this day, what I did, I did it in the days of ignorance. I am free. I release you to go. 
and I free myself. And then for this to be effective, you also need to employ the presence of the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit this day. Every Holy Spirit this day. Break this covenant forever. I am free by the help of the Holy Spirit. I am free from this covenant and its consequences in the name of Jesus. And then after you have done that, you need the blood of Jesus Christ. Please advice. You need the help of a spiritual authority, a genuine man of God, a man of God that uh, God is using, a man of God that can stand in his prophetic office and break this covenant and separate the two of you. And then you realize that you are free from the consequences, you are free from the influence of the covenant, and then you see uh, things working, doors opening, uh, you, are in, uh, you begin to enjoy your new relationship, your marriage, and all of that. Pray for you that the Lord give you understanding. In Jesus' name, amen.